Hi, I'm Mark, one third of Trading the Market. Today's video is a quick one and is a follow up from my video on how to pick a winning racehorse. I've decided to do this video as an experiment to demonstrate if picking a horse based on the racing post rating rather than which horse has been tipped or just picking the favourite. The idea is a simple one. One day's worth of racing at free courses, I listed which horse was the favourite along with the highest tipped horse and the horse with the biggest racing post rating for each race. Horses do have official ratings and on the racing post these are listed as the OR along with the RPR which is the racing post rating and I'll refer to that as often as I can as the RPR. Now in the video on how to pick a winning racehorse I explain that people at the racing post who have no affiliation with or receive no benefit from to us have a team of people whose job is just to watch races and judge the horses in these races to then adjust the rating they are given. These are experts in the field and the reputation of the outlet is based on the quality of information they provide so this is why I picked the racing post rating over the official rating. Now there is always going to be the case that horses are animals and have bad days and good days also the yard may not be pushing for the horse to win and would like to give it experience on a type of surface or want to influence a price on the next race. So let's get into our experiment. The races we'll be looking at are at Wolverhampton, Ludlow and Brighton and are all on the same day. Starting with the Wolverhampton race course, you can see out of the seven races that day, the favourite only won once. The most tipped horse never won a race and on the same race the favourite won, the horse with the highest RPR won. There was no horse selected for the 130 race as three horses at the time of the experiment had the same RPR and OR. As there was no clear horse to pick, we would have left this race. If you use a level stake of £10 onto each horse on each race, the results would be as followed. Back in the favourite only would have lost you £30. Back in the most tipped horse would have lost you £70. And if we backed the highest RPR horse, then we would have lost £20. So not a good result for us from Wolverhampton, but we show the good and the bad on this channel. Now let's look at Brighton. This is a much better result for all. We'll start with just picking the favourites again. We can see that they won four out of seven races on a level stake of £10 per horse. Again, we would have made £33.50 on that course for that day. I will give you the total profit and loss for all the courses combined at the end. Now, there wasn't a clear tipped horse in the 20 past five race. Four horses all had two tips each. So picking the most tipped horse would have made you £61 for the day as we weren't on one of the races. Then picking the RPR horse we would have seen you get four out of seven winners and made you a total of 56 pound on the day. Now, moving over to Ludlow, picking only the favorites would have given you three out of eight winning horses and a loss of four pound 80. And the picking the most tipped horse would have given you two out of eight winners on the day and a loss of 33 pound 50. The racing post rating horse for Ludlow would have seen you a massive five out of eight winners with a total of 100 pound and 20 pence profit. Wow. Now let's look at all the courses combined, profit and loss. So total on the day for picking the favorite in each race would have made you a total loss of one pound 30, almost even. Picking the most tipped horses of the day would have made you a total loss of 42 pound 50. And with the highest racing post rating horses of the day, you would have made a profit of £136.20. That's definitely a boom. Remember this is backing each horse in each race for the day and it was on one day's worth of racing chosen at random. Well, in fact, it's when I had some free time to do it. We will see the profit from this fluctuate from a small profit to a very healthy profit using the RPR horse. As I stated in the Picking the Winning Race Horse video, which will be linked at the end of this video, I'm not a fan of tipsters. On screen now is the record for the month of May on each racing post tipster on the racing post. As you can see from this, not a single one is in profit for the month based on a level stake of one pound. So at best you would have made a loss of three pound 24 for the month and at worst you would have been on a loss of 164 pound 67. If you did the favorite for the month, you can see again from this table, you would have won more races than any of the tipsters, but due to the shorter price, you would have made a loss of £66.32 for the month. In summary, the Racing Post Racing is a decision made by a group of people who have watched every race and altered the racing based on how the horse performed. 
tipsters watch races but have horses they like over other ones and that's when emotion becomes involved. Follow the advice in how to pick a winning racehorse video and don't be influenced by emotions or thinking that because five people have tipped a horse it must be a better chance. If you have liked this video remember to give it a thumbs up and drop us a comment. We really do read them all and consider subscribing as it costs you nothing but allows us to make more videos for your enjoyment. We are an unsponsored channel and have no affiliations or anything to sell which allows us to bring you the most unbiased content on trading. Until next time, happy trading.